Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing brand new accessories from Laurel Denise, as well as my plans in my Laurel Denise planner for November. I'm going to show you my social media strategy and how I'm attacking all of the different content that I am going to put out for November. Let's not waste any time and get right into this video. So first I'm going to get into the brand new fun accessories and my brand new 2025 World Denise planner and then I will get into the November plans. So I was really excited about the brand new Laurel Denise accessories for 2025 simply because I love a good accessory to go with my planner and I love when I'm able to um, put everything all together and like have it all compact and in a nice system. So they definitely achieved that with the brand new pouch. They have this in the standard size as well as the mini size. And they also have a folio, but for me, I just, the folio didn't quite reach my needs and I would love a mini folio. I just love the idea of one because they're very, very cute. So if you haven't checked out the folios, definitely check them out. But I think the pouch is also a really nice way to keep all of your Laurel Denise planners and accessories together. So I got the standard size because I have a standard planner for 2025 and I'm gonna just show you how it looks inside. So here's my 2025 Laurel Denise planner. Not only does it come in this color and layout, but there are more colors and layouts. So you want to check out my full review of this planner. And you also want to click my link and check out the Laurel Denise website so you can see all the different print options for the accessories as well. So I don't have all of them in this video, but you, there is a link below so you can kind of check them out. So this is my 2025 Laurel Denise planner. Again, the full review is here on my channel and I'll put it in the cards. But the layout goes a little something like this. So you have your monthly view on this side. You have your like dashboard kind of situation on this side. And then you have in the middle the weeks. Now, I'm currently using an undated planner. And y'all, I cannot wait to get into this dated version because I really love the idea of having the dates already there. And right now it's kind of killing me that I don't have dates. And then I love the habit tracker over here as well. So that is how this planner is set up. And then it just continues. It is quite thin, which I really do like. So you see there. And then the back, um, you have the Laurel Denise logo down here and it's nice and pretty. So anyway, this planner fits perfectly inside of this pouch. And look at the interior of this pouch. Don't we love that? It also coordinates with this pencil pouch from Laurel Denise. And so when you open that up, right, like that interior there with this interior, like, ugh, I just love it. I love a good coordinated situation. And Laurel Denise has some really fun prints. So these prints, they don't match, but I feel like they like all look like they go together some kind of way. So I have this planner and I'm able to just kind of like slip that in. You do have to kind of move it around a little bit, just a tad. Um, I'm sure the more and more I use it, the easier it'll be to put inside of here, but wasn't difficult at all, as you can see. And then I can also put my other accessories. So they have these really cute pastel highlighters, and I'm going to show what those highlighters look like in my planner. And then you also have the ultra fine tip markers here. You can put those in there too. And as you can see, it zips right up with my accessories. So if you're nervous about everything fitting together cohesively, don't worry, it all fits together really well. So wanted to show you that first. The details on here are really beautiful and it is very well made. Like it is premium plush. Like I love how well made this is. So if you're worried about the quality, don't worry about the quality. It's a great quality. I love the embellishments, the zipper. Like look how nice this is. Nice gold zipper there. Really pretty, love that. Now, when it comes to my planners and my planner layouts, I like to keep things as convenient as possible. And so what I love about this planner is that they finally came out with some sticker kits and y'all, they were worth the wait. So this is the sticker. These are the sticker kits. Um, you get all 12 months, okay? So that's what I'm most excited about because 
I personally, in this part of my life, like in my planner lifestyle, I just want you to give me all the stickers for the year, okay? And I, I think I'm gonna do a setup video showing all the stickers for the year and just like sticker it all up. Let me know in the comments, do you like when creators set their whole planner up for the year with the stickers or do you prefer like a month by month sticker situation? Let me know in the comments, full year or month by month, I'd love to know. So when you open this up, right, we get all the stickers. Now here's my favorite part. Here you can see that there is a, you know, cut here so that this part comes up if you want it to. And then this part shows. So this part, right, will be visible. Okay, so you'll be able to see the month peep through there. So I love that. <laughs> I just love it. And then you get a whole extra box. So if you don't want that to show through, you can use this one. Um, or you can cut this one up and use it however you want. You can use it on this page. Or, okay, you can have two months worth, technically, okay? Because you have a Sunday star here and Monday star here. So no matter what planner you have, you can use either one. You have your date dots there at the bottom, which we love. And then you have these here to mark different things for different days. And they are specifically sized for this layout. So I'm just so excited about that. Um, you can also probably put this over here I don't know if it's too short um it's a little short but you could if you want to like put it there for a little deco you could I love it like I'm obsessed and let's just do a quick flip through of all the different um layouts so I'm gonna go this way so first we have this one look how pretty that is this one we got green I just love these colors like how beautiful these prints are amazing and it's funny because I always have a hard time picking between these prints for the planner now that I love I can have a little bit of each print in my actual planner and you can be done with your planner shopping at the you know with this one purchase like done with your stickers for your Laurel Denise planner with this one purchase I love that like I'm so excited about this. These stickers are great quality as well, which I have to mention. I love that they're great quality. They are thick. They are really, really sticky. I'm just so excited to put this planner together now. And so I had to do this video to show you all these stickers so I could then plan with them because I'm just so excited to set my January up in here. I'm, I'm so excited. Now let's go ahead and get into the undated planner I have. So if this planner seems too big for you, there is also a mini option. And so do a size comparison. This is the size comparison between the two. I had a mini for 2024. I'm going into an original size or like a standard size for 2025. But the mini is really nice too. And I love that they have pouches and accessories for the mini as well, which is appreciated, as well as I believe stickers for the mini. So no matter what planner you're going with, make sure you check out those accessories with the link in my description and my coupon code so you can save and check them out so this was an undated planner and what I ended up doing I'll show you a few different um layouts so this was for June I skipped around quite a bit because honestly I'm having a hard time with the undated portion of this planner I love the planner itself but it being undated just really isn't my jam so that's why I went ahead and got it dated for 2025 so I can really get into it um I think the undated option is great for someone who doesn't know how often they want to set this up but I just I know I want to use it every month so that's why I went with dated this time but now we have November and I am so excited to show you all what I have planned so here in my November plans, of course, I have my monthly view here, the weekly plans here. I only have the first week of November planned out, but that's okay. And I just wanted to kind of show you like the Monday through Sunday situation. So I use stickers here to plan that out. I use my Laurel Denise markers. They have a fine tip marker and that's what I used here. I relied heavily on these ultra fine tip markers for this layout and I used the gray and the black here. I just thought they were super cute and I love how this turned out. So as you can see here, all of that is from the fine tip marker. All the things I wrote here are from the fine tip marker. And then I use uh, this like turquoise one on this side on the fine with the fine tip marker as well. So all of these plans I wrote out with these and I just think these are the perfect addition. They don't have any shadowing really. They are perfect for this planner. So if you are a little bit apprehensive about the quality, the quality is there. The quality is definitely there. I love them and y'all know I'm a pen marker lover. <laughs> and then here I went ahead and set up a quick little color code system for my socials, YouTube, Instagram, blog and email, TikTok and Facebook. And I use these sticker, uh, these uh, markers for that. So 
I'll just kind of give you an idea of what they look like. I did a full swatch video on these already, so definitely check that out. Um, but here, I will set it up here. So for the habit tracker, I'm going to just go ahead and set that up real quick. So I'm going to go... Ah, okay. Clearly, I did a terrible job on that first line. We're going to try to do better. <laughs> It's a little better. Love how those turned out. And then I personally keep have been keeping them in here, but I am gonna go ahead and shift and put them in the actual little pouch here. So I might as well do that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping them in there because I mean, I don't mind keeping them in the plastic. It's nothing wrong with that, but I've just been trying to use my accessories. Look how good that looks like. So pretty and bright. And then take these and add them in there too. Perfect. Look how good that looks. So I'm going to then go ahead and write in each social media platform. Let me grab that. And here, I don't remember what I want that one to be, so I'm going to skip it. But I know here, this is going to be YouTube. And then we'll go into Instagram. And remember, these are my social media plans. These can be anything you want. I'm just showing an example. So this could be your own personal routines, anything you want. I just decided to use mine for social media. And so now we have, you know, a nice little setup here. So. Let me know in the comments if you like this setup for social media. This could be used for any type of project management. I just think this is a really good project planner. Like I just think for projects is going to be great for me. And I love the fact that um, the bigger version is dated. So I'll have more space here. It'll be awesome. I just cannot wait for 2025 <laughs> to get into this because as you can see, I'm already finding like really fun, creative ways to get into it. And having that back page, like to be able to look at this all month long, it's just been super helpful for me so i went ahead and did a little color coding this month i love how this looks i'm so excited about it and i'm just ready to get into these november plans so just to show you kind of how i have this set up these are my daily plans and things i want to do every day so reply to comments uh put something in my stories and some kind of admin slash post um for facebook so again back to the color coding so youtube is blue instagram is pink green is facebook Boom. So I have all that for every single day. And I'm going to try to like just do a little check for that, like a little to check that out. OK, then on this side, I have my daily things that are going to happen. Well, I should say weekly, like weekly tasks over here. So once a week that happened, once a week that happened, etc. So I still did the color coding there, but I did do like a little to do list for the week. So like these are the things I need to do for each brand that I'm working with this month. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But I'm really excited about it. And I'm hoping that it works out for me because social media is always kind of all over the place for me. And I think it's because I didn't have like a project mindset for it. I was just trying to te treat social media like a to do list. And it's not a to do list. It's really like project management. <laughs> so it's like a big project that I'm working on all the time. So I think by having this laid out this way and being able to see my bigger overarching projects while I'm working on my daily to do's and also having some habit stuff in here is going to be really nice. So I'm excited about it. As you can see, I keep saying I'm excited because I am. I can't wait to get into that dated version. But for now, I'm going to keep using this for November and December and uploading photos and videos. So definitely check out my Instagram at Cloetry Plans, my TikTok at Cloetry Plans. And I have a link to a Facebook group as well for those of you who are on Facebook. So I'll put those links in my description. Don't forget to use my code with Laurel Denise. And also make sure you like this video and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite accessory is. Is it the markers? Is it the highlighters? Is it the pen case or pencil case? Is it the new uh, pouch for the planner, new planner pouch? 
And will you be using the Laurel Denise planner in 2025? Let me know that in the comments. Can't wait to chat with you all. It's my favorite part of these videos, being able to talk with you all in the comments. And if you're using a Laurel Denise planner now, let me know what you like using your planner for. Is it a, a catch-all? Do you like using it for projects? I'd love to know. So let me know that in the comments. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video.